Hello and welcome to All Is Outdoors. Today we are going to take a look at a box from Carl's. Uh, I was actually doing a little uh, surfing at lunchtime and came across Carl's uh, looking at some boxes because I was trying to decide, you know, do do I really want to keep doing the monster bass? Do I want to? So while I was there, I was looking around and uh, they had some pretty good deals. So I uh, had to get, had to buy this and uh, we'll see how it is. I've I, This is my first uh, order from Carl's. I haven't ordered anything in the past. I'm not a Carl's Club member. You can be a member. You can join. I think it's $49 for the year. Not really sure what it all includes. I think I saw something about free shipping. Uh, they do have like a, a insurance on your lures, but I didn't really look into that. I thought maybe just a one-time thing here. I'd take a look at it. Um, and they had some, some good sales. So let's see what we have here. Okay, pretty full box. Pretty nice and full. We're not gonna we're not gonna look at that one right now. That's that's gonna be for a later date. That's one of the things I was kind of looking for. This is like a mystery box that they have. We'll unbox that later. Um, I really haven't fished with a lot of anything Guggen products, uh, and that box there is, is is like a mystery box of uh, Guggen baits. So we'll take a look at that later. But let's see what we have here. We'll start off with ARC uh, CT3-5. And this was uh, $4. And let me get... I use a little screwdriver here to, to get into the boxes. It's a little easier. It's a safer than using my knife. And uh, I can save the boxes that way. Uh, I like to hang things out on my bait wall. Uh, if I can, if I'm not using them, but right there is that nice little square bill. It is uh, it dives. Uh, it's two and an eighth inch long, um, three eighths of an ounce, and depth is uh, three to five feet. So that was one of the first little crankbanks I got. We'll go through the crankbait. They're more uh, or the the hard baits. They're a lot more fun. There we go. So this is the Guggen Scout. Uh, this was this one here was seven dollars and sixty nine cents. Uh, it's kind of a color that's uh, close. I'm gonna have to use my knife. They got a sticker on here too. Um, this kind of close to the Mega Bass uh, crankbait I got, the Vision 110. And so I figured this would be a really nice one to compare with it, as well as the Lucky Craft, and uh, one that I picked up from AliExpress. Right here it is. Nice blue bag. Her body, yellow belly. Nice little sound there. This is, do we have a, it's a bone color. It is, dives four to six feet, uh, four and a third inches long and a half an ounce. Elgin bone is the color of it. Let's see. Okay. Next one is a jabber jaw. Uh, seven to seven to nine feet. It uh, weighs five eighths of an ounce. It's two and three eighths inches long. It's uh, floating and then seven to nine feet. And the price on the jabber jaw. Is five dollars and twenty cents. 
right there is a jabber jaw. This is the neat thing about this is it swings back and forth, kind of like the six cents uh, axis. They say that I think jabber jaw 13 fish uh, did it first, so there was some controversy, but who knows? But the nice little bait. Um, color on this. Olive shad, so olive shad, nice little sticky hooks. There we go. Jabberjaw, 13 fishing. Next bait. Uh, can you see it in there? Probably can barely. Little spy bait. Shinobi shad. It is in the Grimace color. It's uh, 2.1 inches long, weighs a quarter of an ounce, just a little guy, and was $3 on sale. Got your little blades. Let's get that out of there. Oh, that one won't turn because of the hook, but. Nice little bait. Nice little spy bait. We'll see how that goes. That might be a quarter ounce, something to throw. It's kind of big, but throw that on a on the be a, a bait finesse system. Okay, the next thing we got here is. This is a Strike Pro. It is a Cranky 50Fs in the blue shiner color. It's a 1 in 15 16 inches long, 3 and 3 sixteenths of an ounce, and it's a wake little wake bait. I'm assuming by where the bill is there. Nice little hooks on it. Nice color. Nice little bait. And that was uh, $4 for a little wake bait. Strike Pro. Okay. Oh, there is some more hard baits. Excite. This is a uh, blushing shad. It's XB1. Uh, dives two to five feet, and it's a three eighths ounce. And that was four dollars and twenty-five cents on sale. Little square bill, crankbait. Nice hooks on it. Let's see it baits. Oh, real hard knocker. Nice blushing shed. I'm gonna have to be able to keep them straight here. Oh, we got a mini now. It's a Reaction Strike Ranger Micro. One and a quarter inches long. Staple out. Doesn't say a size or a color. It was two dollars and twenty cents on sale. Just a little guy. Like a citrus shad type color or a sexy shad or nice little hooks on it. That definitely will be a something to throw on the BFS. My fingers in the way, sorry. 
yeah, two dollars and twenty cents. Reaction strike. All right, now we got to some soft baits. Let's see what we got here. We'll start off with this Bass Dynasty. It's a three inch Dynacraw times two in a dirty plum color. And this thing here was, these were three dollars. Looks like there's six of them in here. Sorry, I'm looking down so much. I'm trying to get these packages open. There we go. Oops. There it is. Dirty plum. Got some really weird appendages there that that's really going to do some swimming. Got some kind of scent to it, but not totally plastic, but not offensive either. Maybe it is just plastic, but there we go. That is the Bass Dynasty. Uh, Cabin Creek is the next one. This is uh, 2.75 inches long, six pack craw. Looks like a lot of these, they were, uh, they didn't tell you the color when you bought them. It was a random color. So, and there's no color on here, but looks like a green pumpkin or yeah, green. Uh, pepper, probably. Nice little uh, ribs here on the, on there. That'll swim. I like a little rage tail. But nice little craw. And these were $2.50. Six pack. Nice. Nice little cabin creek. Uh, next one, I got two bags of them. They were random colors, so I thought maybe I'd get a, something different, but they both came in the same color. These are Samantis baits. Um, good drop shot bait. These were $2 each, so I got $4 here. Um, and then a color on this, I believe, is a goby color. Uh, 10 in a pack, and they're 3.25 inches long. Nice little collar. So two packs of the Samantha's baits. We're getting down there. We're getting down there. Uh... Next one is Mini Shad from Lighthouse Lures. Root beer is the color. There's six pieces in here. They look like they're uh, 4.3 inches long, and this was $3. There we go. Nice little swim bait. Nice little little difference tail on there. Eyes are pretty good. There's a, a slit in the bottom for your hook. Nice. Mini Shad. Lighthouse Lures. And last thing in the box. We got Thunderhawk. Doesn't say what they are, but they're a craw of some sort. Um, six pack, three four three point five inches long, and dollar eighty I paid for these. And the color looks like some kind of plum or purple. Um, definitely, there's definitely a purplish. Definitely has some ribs there that'll do some swimming. Uh, nice rib body appendages. They look good. We 
go. That's the Thunderhawk. So we'll just do a real recap here real quick. We got the Thunderhawk. We got the Lighthouse swim baits. We got two packs of Samantha's baits in the same color, Gobi color. We have Cabin Creek little cross. We have Bass Dynasty Crow Cross. That's gonna be more difficult. We got the Ranger Micro. We got the Excite Bait. Current bait. We got the Shinobi Shad in Grimace color. Nice small spy bait. We got the Strike Pro a little weight bait. We got Jabberjaw 13 Fishing. We got Arc current bait. And last but not least, we got the Scout, an Elgin craw or Elgin Bone. There you go. <clears throat> nice little, nice little bunch of baits. We'll go through that uh, mystery box in another, uh, another video. But uh, thank you for uh, tagging along. I like to do. The unboxings, I hope you like it too. Let me know in the comments uh, what which one you like the best, which one you think was a good deal. Um, and, uh, you know, like it and uh, comment and hit the notification so you see when the next one comes out. But thank you for uh, watching All Is Outdoors, and we'll see you next week. Uh, as I always say, get out there and enjoy the outdoors.